So let's unbox Synology DS1522 Plus. It's a five bay server and I only ordered one drive. So I'm not sure if it works to replicate. All right, let's bring this out. It's a Synology disk, disk station DS1522 plus series. So let's keep unboxing. Okay, what do we have here? This is the cable to power up our drive disk station. Let's skip, let's take out everything and then we can go over. Okay, this is our disk station, nicely wrapped in a linen case and I don't think there's inside anything else inside. All right, so what do we have in here? It's a two fan. There are a couple of SATA ports here. I believe this is for power. LAN cable, reset button. And I believe this is for extending the... These are like fire base power button and some LED to show the status of all the disk. Let's see what we have in this box. I believe this is a power cable. Okay, I believe there's something else here. It says M2 NVMe SSD installation for cache. So those thing goes here. There are two, two spaces to put different drives here. And I believe we will need a key to open this up. Okay, it's already open, but just to lock, we need a key here, as you can see. Since I only have one drive, I'm just going to put one drive there. That's pretty much it. So this is the power plug, Synology. This goes in here. Here's the two LAN cable that they have gave us. These are the keys to open or close the lock the drive. Let me unlock this. And these are some of the screws. I don't know what is the purpose and where should I use this? So we'll figure this out. Now that we have everything taken out and this thing goes up. So let me pop this out. Oh, yeah. So you just pinch and pop out from here, from the sides. Um, this is used for securing your drive. So let's get going. I'll unbox the drive. All right. I bought from Amazon both the sets. This is a Seagate. Um, I can't tell the exact. Let's open it up. It's a Seagate Iron Wolf Pro 12 terabyte. I only bought one and I do plan to on buying the second one. There is and let's mount. So the disc goes like this here. So this is the first time I'm doing, never have done this before. I have never done this before and I'm not sure what happened, okay. 
All right, okay, it just... So there's something, this rubber thing that goes in middle. Look like it just pop out. It is between these two edges. So let me try to fix it back. Now, I did put this rubber thing that covers back here. So now, the first question that comes to my mind is, how does the drive go like this or like that? I did sneak into the bay here and I do see that this connector goes on the bottom left side. So it'll definitely go like this. Align your drive so the holes in the drive, you can see it from here. So now we are going to secure it. We just put this thing here. Align this where you see the hole, this thing and gently push it until it is secured. Do the same thing on the other side. So let's secure this. You can, you can hear that click sound. Let's put it this way. It goes, as you can see inside, it goes like this and that's it. Now it's ready to be plugged, plugged in with power cable and we can connect with the router and LAN cable. As you can see, the Synology drive is ready to be connected with the power and the LAN cable with the router and modem. So let's connect them. There we go. The power goes in here. Then I'll put it in number one. Same thing, number one there. And then turn it on. It's getting started. I assume I'll have everything behind the sofa and we'll go to the computer to find our newly installed device.